What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Chef Shetty, and I am making the perfect French toast. Mm, let's get into it. Hey guys, we are back. So here I told you in the intro that we were doing the perfect French toast, okay? So what I have, what we're gonna start off with is your bread. You want to have the perfect bread, okay? This is a buttered brioche sliced bread. Um, the other perfect bread to use is a challah bread. C-H-A-L-L-A-H, challah bread. If you guys are not familiar with it, go to your local grocery store that bakes fresh bread daily. For me, it's Publix. They have the best challah bread. They also have the best butter brioche bread. So today I'm using the butter brioche bread. It is so yummy. And I have them slice it, regular slice. So this is how thick it is. Um, and it's, it's entirely up to you. So what I'm gonna start with is some cinnamon. I like to sprinkle a good amount of cinnamon on here. You can never go wrong with cinnamon. So get some cinnamon in there. I'm also gonna do a couple of dashes of vanilla extract. Just a little bit, nothing major. And then you can do milk, um, any type of wet ingredient, like a milk or a heavy cream. Uh, this particular time, I'm going to be using a third of a cup of sour cream, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and whisk all these ingredients together until they're nice and evenly incorporated. And it's gonna be um, a little bit more on the thicker side, but, and this is a very rich, okay, a very rich, uh, French toast, by the way, but um, and it's, it makes it a little rich because of the vanilla extract um, and the sour cream. But I get it nice and mixed in until the sour cream is not lumpy anymore. And then what I do is I go ahead and I add. Now you could add cinnamon sugar, um, but. I am adding a little bit more cinnamon, just plain cinnamon. And I have it like kind of in this type of Tupperware bowl. It's like about this size because I can fit the bread in there. Um, you, you wanna put it in a container where you can actually fit your bread in um, where it can sit and soak. You don't wanna try it in a small little bowl or something like that because then you'll bend your, your bread up. You don't wanna do that. Okay, so I get my bread in and I'm going to be doing four slices. So I'm going to go ahead and warm up my pan, which I am using a flat pan. If you have a griddle, which I do um, when I'm cooking more uh, for more people, today I'm only making four slices. So if you have a griddle, go ahead and use your flat top griddle. But if you have a flat top pan like me, use your flat top pan. So just let that soak for a second, then go ahead and flip that. All right. And then what I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna go ahead and get some butter onto my flat top. Once this warms up, 
you definitely want to go ahead and get ready to get your um, French toast on and then I'm going to show you what it looks like on the actual griddle. Okay, so I have my French toast that I just laid onto my griddle. What I'm going to do, and this is up to you, but what I do is I sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon on top of these bad boys. I love the cinnamon taste on my French toast. And I'm pretty much gonna toast these up as if you would toast up toast on a flat griddle. So you want the eggs to evenly cook um, throughout. You'll see after a while, um, you can always like flip up a little bit and check it, but I usually don't touch it for a full minute, minute and a half. I have my heat on medium high. You wanna watch it, you don't wanna walk away from it. I'm telling you because these can burn pretty quickly and it's nothing, it doesn't taste good to have burnt. Um, French toast. So they're basically cooking as you see. And you can check under at a certain point. See how golden brown they are. You know, pretty much position it. Some of them will be more golden brown the other than others because of the way the position of the pan is. sides on the flat griddle just to get a nice little crust it's up to you I mean as the heat is going around the sides it's it's cooking the egg but I like I like a crunch when I eat my French toast because you know you do for me if you load up fruit and syrup and powdered sugar and all those great things on there it tends to get soggy so I like to eat fresh hot French toast um, I don't know about anyone else, but I like that crunch. Um, and so, there we go. So I'm gonna turn this off, okay? Those are done. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like nice and plated. Actually, I'm gonna plate this for you guys. So hang tight. So as you see, guys, I've plated. I put three of the French toast on top. I added some luscious peaches. Um, I did some powdered sugar. I'm gonna add a little bit more powdered sugar on top. And I did some maple syrup. And I'm gonna add a little bit more maple syrup on there. Just drizzle that on there like that. Okay, yep. and then I love bacon or brown and serve sausage, so you can do your brown and serves on the side. I have brown and serves today, and it is time to eat. So I want you guys to like, comment, and share this content. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's at Peak Grits, and all of my social media platforms are at Peak Grits with a Z. Follow me, and I love you guys for free. Yep.